Hello everyone, this is Vikram and welcome to my channel. From today, we are going to start Kaivano series. So there are many topics that we are going to cover in the series. So we'll start off with the need for Kaivano, the introduction to Kaivano and all its features, some of the use cases in which, uh, you know, we use Kaivano. And in the next session, we'll talk about Kaivano architecture, how it works internally, uh, what are admission controllers in Kubernetes and how Kaivano is related to this concept. We'll also talk about admission webhooks configuration uh, related to Kaiverno and also admission webhooks configuration in general. Uh, we'll also go through Kaiverno documentation to understand uh, all these things. Then we'll talk about uh, what is policy as code and how many types of uh, you know uh, these policies are supported by Kaiverno. So there are uh, four to five of them. So uh, we have uh, like mutate uh, policies, validate policies generate and cleanup policies. I think we also have one more. Uh, we'll go through the documentation in the next session. Then we'll talk about how to set up Kaiverno. Then we'll do a lot of demos on all the policy types. So we'll also talk about uh, creating custom policies, uh, how to use the reporting um, um, in Kaiverno in case if some policies are violated. So we'll see how the reports are generated and how to extract those reports. We'll also see how to, you know, create policy exceptions in case, uh, in case if you want to uh, exempt uh, some resources uh, from uh, getting these policies applied. So we can use uh, various CRDs, uh, you know, by Kaiverno. Um, and we'll also talk about monitoring and tracing in Kaiverno. We'll also talk about in how many, uh, in how many ways we can use Kaiverno. So basically you can run uh, Kaiverno as an admission controller in Kubernetes cluster. We we can also run it as a CLI um, in case if you want to scan all your Kubernetes manifest files in your CICD pipelines. So this is where Kaiverno CLI comes into the picture. So apart from this, we also have other topics. Uh, so we're going to see them in this series. So first let's start with uh, why do we need Kaiverno um, in Kubernetes? Uh, let's say you want to restrict using latest stack for container images. So we know that, um, you know, a pod is a high level abstraction um, and a pod can have more than one containers and these containers will run container images. Let's say I don't want to use latest stacks uh, for these container images. So if any Kubernetes object uses this latest stack for the container images, let's say I want to block its deployment, right? So in this case, I can, uh, create Kaiverno policies that blocks using latest stack for container images. Or let's say I want to add a label. Uh, it can be any label. So for example, I want to add label called build to equal to DevOps for all the uh, ports and services. So this is not only restricted to ports and services. Uh, it can be extended for other Kubernetes objects as well. But let's say for ports and services, I want to add this label if it is not already there. And other thing can be like, I want to add image pool secrets information to the pods automatically. Let's say, um, you know, uh, many users will be creating pods in the Kubernetes cluster. And let's say the container images that, that these pods use, they are in the private registry. And uh, let's say, you know, people don't use image pool secrets to pull from the private registry. So how can I automatically add these pull secrets uh, to all the pods that are created in the cluster? So I can basically use Kaivano policy for that. And uh, the last one, I mean, this is just as an example, I'm giving this as a last one. Let's say I want to block pod deletion. I don't want to delete uh, certain pods in the cluster, probably uh, the pods having a certain label. So I want to block pod deletion. So in case if someone wants to uh, delete them. So if you if they simply do kubectl delete or any other command to delete the pod, so Kaiverno is going to basically block that pod deletion. So not only this, there are various uh, types of policies. There we have generate policies, mutate policies, uh, validate policies. So we'll see all these examples in details in the in in detail in the coming uh, video. Now what is Kaiverno? So Kaiverno, uh, which is Greek uh, for to govern. Uh, it is an open source policy engine that is designed for Kubernetes. It is a CNCF project, uh, purpose built for Kubernetes. Um, you know, basically all the manifest files that you try to create, you know, uh, Kaiverno can actually scan them, block them, or mutate them. 
depending on the policies that you write and it is cloud native security and governance engine originally built for kubernetes but now we can also use this outside of kubernetes as an unified policy engine the main basic use of uh, kaivano is it may enpass platform teams to enforce certain policies uh, as we uh, talked about adding some labels right so let's say there are standard labels that needs to be added to all the pods and services in the cluster so what i can do is i can simply use kaivano and uh, let kaivano add those labels if they are not already there so it is also used to secure so uh, software supply chain and automate security compliance and governance so we'll talk about um, all these things so each one uh, uh, has a meaning to it so we'll try to prove it with kaivano examples and this runs as dynamic admission controller so we'll talk about admission controllers in kubernetes so what are dynamic admission controllers so we are going to talk about in detail um, using some architecture diagrams and uh, kaivano basically runs as dynamic admission controller in kubernetes cluster and it simplifies validating mutating generating configurations within your kubernetes clusters and coming to some of the features of kaivano so all the policies of kaivano are written in yaml so you don't have to learn any new language so if you're uh, familiar with yaml uh, language so kaivano um, you know basically uses this language to write all the policies and you can enforce policies via admission controller so this is a standard method where kaivano runs as dynamic admission controller in the cluster so whenever you try to create any resources uh, so kaivano can basically you know scan those resources it it can uh, it can also run as a cli scan in case if you want to you know scan the kubernetes manifest files uh, within your ci cd jobs you can also run kaivano as a cli tool and also at runtime kaivano basically supports many policy types like validate mutate generate or clean up okay so we'll talk about all of this so we'll talk about what is validate policy mutate policy generate policy and clean up policies okay so i'll just give a brief example of clean up policy in in kaivano let's say i don't want um, any resources inside the kubernetes cluster to be running as a single pod without being managed by uh, high level controllers like deployment stateful set or replica set so in case if anyone tries to create a pod inside cluster without any controller so what uh, kaivano can do is kaivano can basically delete those pods okay so that also i can do and not only that kaivano can also verify oci compliant uh, container images signatures and other artifacts it can also generate reports using open reporting format uh, for example let's say you know there are many resources running inside your kubernetes cluster which are uh, you know basically violating uh, kaivano policies so you don't have to remove them completely from the cluster but what you can do is you can generate a report of all the violations and kaivano has built in policy exception management this is pretty much required because let's say uh, i want to create uh, some pods um, you know in the cluster so that violates these policies so how can i just exempt those pods uh, from uh, you know from kaivano uh, you know uh, management right so what i can do is i can create certain crds uh, that are meant for policy exception and then you can also test your policies end to end so it has comprehensive unit test and e2e testing framework as well and you can manage uh, all the policies using tools like kubectl so i can uh, apply those policies delete those policies edit those policies and all those things yeah so so these are some of the use cases so first use case is enforcing security best practices uh, for example i want to restrict privileged containers from uh, running inside the cluster i mean not running inside the cluster basically when you try to create such containers i mean such pods um, that has privileged containers so kaivano can actually block your uh, resource creation request and also it can enforce run as non root in case if you want to run as root uh, kaivano can kaivano can basically block it and also standardizing resource configurations for example i want to uh have certain labels as default labels for all the resources or let's say i want to have default cpu and memory limits for example if i try to create a pod uh, through a deployment controller 
so what uh, Kaivana can do is Kaivana can add some default labels or default CPN memory limits automatically to that configuration. So this is basically known as mutate policy because uh, Kaivana is basically editing your, uh, you know, uh, configurations. And then the next use case is ensuring compliance and governance. Uh, for example, I want to have some resource quota set at the namespace level or uh, let's say I want to block all the container images uh, from, you know, basically uh, from public registries like uh, Docker Hub. So basically what I can do is I can um, write a Kaivana policy. So it takes care of blocking all the pod creation requests that use external images or external uh, repositories. Dynamic resource generation, um, you know, what I can do is, so basically I can dynamically generate some config maps or secrets or network policies. For example, uh, whenever someone creates a new namespace, so what I can do is I can create um, image pool secrets or some network policies in that namespace as soon as it gets created. So we'll also see them. So these comes under generate policies because Kaivana will automatically generate uh, these policies for us. And then validate resource configurations. For example, I have pod definition. So that is using host path volumes or it is not it is um, not using read-only file system. Then I can block such requests. Auditing and reporting non-compliance resources. As I already said, Kaivana has inbuilt policy reporting engine. So it will audit and report all the non-compliant resources within your Kubernetes cluster. And then multi-tenancy management. Um, you know, what we can do is we can actually restrict, uh, you know, Kaivana can actually restrict creation of resources like load balancer resources or ingress resources in case if these are not, um, you know, supported in the cluster. And then improving CACD and DevOps pipelines, um, you know, you can enforce these policies, uh, you know, inside your GitOps workflows. And then monitoring an instant response. So you can also uh monitor runtime enforcement block pod deletions because in uh, for certain applications like we don't we never want them to be deleted from the cluster in such cases i can write a policy that will block pod deletion so these are some of the use cases of kaiverno so in the next video we'll talk more about kaiverno architecture how kaiverno works what are admission controllers how they work and how kaiverno is related to uh this admission controllers in the next video thank you and i'll see you in the next video